Hey, what's up guys? It's Storyteller E and EM and this is my first YouTube video on my channel. Um today I will be um telling a story time about how I got almost robbed at gunpoint. Um let me tell you something about me, man. Look, man. I'm not the most the most um like muscular or brave person, my man. I'm I'm a skinny twig. I'm a skinny twig. And so when this happened, yo, I was scared. Like, I was literally scared. Uh, so let's start off with the story. So, um, me and my dad, we were, um, we were walking from, we were walking from the mall. Like, I think it was from a mall. Yeah, we were walking from a mall. And mind you, it was very late at night. Like, it was very late at night. Uh, we were like two blocks away from our house. Um... And while we are walking to our house, like, this is, like, we're on the second block. These dudes come up, like, like, come up behind us, right? And, yo, they just start, like, um, they, 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 they start, like, talking and whispering. Like, they start making noises. I'm, like, I tell my dad, I'm, like, yo, this is very suspicious. And he just, like... He's like, he just shoves it off. He's like, nah, man. Nah, they're not gonna do anything. And then in the first block, like, when we're, when we're like, a block away, um, they just start getting even louder. Mind you, that when I'm looking at them and when they're speaking, it looks like there's, like, four, four or three of them, right? Okay, this is gonna, that's gonna be very important to, like, I'm gonna explain to you why that's important. So, we're still walking, we're still walking, we're still talking. I'm talking to my dad. And... Um, our street that we're about to cross to go to our house, um, it's like right, we're about to cross it. We're literally about to cross it. So we're going up to the street that we're about to cross. And when, when we're literally about to walk one more step across the street, these guys run up in front of us. And one of them has a gun, right? Bro, literally, it looked like there was four of them, dude. And now there's like eight. There's like eight people, bro. And mind you, they were all teenagers. So they could take my dad on. Like, they could outnumber him and me. Because I was really small at the time. So they could literally just beat us up and take our money. But no. They just had to bring out a gun. Yo. And I already knew who the leader was. It was clearly the guy with the gun. He was standing in the middle. Everybody was listening to him. So he was like, hey, yo. You got anything on you? Blah, 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 blah. This and that. You got anything on you? And me being really scared, um, I start crying. I'm like, we gotta go, we gotta go. I'm tugging on my dad's shirt. I'm like, we gotta go, we gotta go. And my dad's like, no, 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 you go, you go. I'll give them everything. So I'm like, no, no, please, I won't leave. He's like, you go, you go to the house because the house is like one, one street away. And the dudes let me run off. And um, later I will know that uh, he would tell me that they took his visa, his driver's license, important stuff like money, cash, credit cards. And, dude, when when I got to the house, I locked the door quick. I didn't even look out the window, bro. And I just sat there crying, crying. And, um, and then I was, like, 20 minutes later, I would think that my dad would just come to my house, right? Come, come to the house regularly be like, yeah, I'm okay. It's fine. They ran off. Bruh. Yo, this man really comes comes inside the house and says, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go chase them down with a bat. Bruh. When he said that, when he came into our house and was like, Yeah, I'm gonna go chase them with a bat, I just looked at him like, Are you? What? I didn't say that, but like I, I just thought in my mind, like, what? Who does that? Like you're gonna chase down eight teenagers? When they could easily outnumber you, and even if he hits them, he's probably going to get a charge? What? Actually, no, he... Well, it could technically be self-defense, because they did put a gun on him, or something like that. I don't know, I don't really know about laws. But look, he says that, right? And he already, he already, like, he's determined to chase them down with a bat. He left the house running after them, going down the block. And dude, me and my neighbor's house um, are, like, right next to each other. And 
I'm really scared. Like, there's literally a wall just, like, splitting us apart. I'm really scared. I'm like, please help me. Please, please. I'm so scared. I'm, I think my dad's going to die. And I'm literally crying because I, I was little. I was little. And even if that was me now, I would probably, I, I wouldn't be crying. But I'd probably be really scared. I would really be re really scared. As I said, I'm, I'm not the most bravest and muscular person. But look. Yo. Um... And I'm just crying. I'm like, please, please help me, help me. And the neighbor's like, yeah, come over to our, our house. Because, as I said, the house is, is um split with one wall. And I just come over to the house. I'm just crying. And then eventually my dad come back, my, comes back. I just said come back. Uh, my dad comes back. And he um he says, yeah, I couldn't find him, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, obviously it was pitch black at pitch. I said black, bro pitch black at night and um and then later that um t um the day after he told me how, how they robbed him and everything and he said he couldn't see them and i never saw those people again but yeah that was my first story time guys it was about how i got held at gunpoint um if you liked it and like and subscribe um, it's my first video on my channel. I'm just doing this YouTube chain thing because we're in quarantine and I'm really passionate about it. And yeah, guys, it's your boy, um, Storyteller EM, and I'm out. <laughs>